impeachment. So now the impeachment hearings, which failed in the Intelligence Committee, where they could have been researching things like the fact that China, China is stealing everybody's face, like, like those assassins in Game of Thrones. China is now making everybody who uses a phone in China record their face. Uh, they could have been studying that, but instead they were doing this impeachment thing. They released the, the report, and then they passed it on to the Judiciary Committee, uh, headed by the great and powerful Gerald Nadler. Uh, so let's go and look at Gerald Nadler's opening statement. This is cut number one. The effect of impeachment is to overturn the popular will of the voters. We must not overturn an election and remove a president from office except to defend our system of government or our constitutional liberties against the dire threat. And we must not do so without an overwhelming consensus of the American people. There must never be a narrowly voted impeachment or an impeachment supported by one of our major political parties and opposed by the other. Such an impeachment will produce the divisiveness and bitterness in our politics for years to come and will call into question the very legitimacy of our political institutions. Wait a minute. <laughs> that blows up the whole narrative. Oh, that was Jerry Nadler in 1998 when they were trying to impeach Clinton. He said he can't do it without a consensus, without both sides, a bipartisan consensus. Right now, not only are no Republicans crossing the line, I mean, Republicans have dug in. They they know this is a clown show. They know this is the Acme impeachment machine that's going to blow up in the Democrats' faces. Democrats may start to lose some votes over here. I don't. I still think they can get the votes. And everybody, all the experts keep saying they're going to do it. I think they're walking into Cocaine Mitch's House of Horrors uh, if they go, take this to the Senate. I mean, obviously, uh, it's John Roberts who will preside over that trial in the Senate, but they can call just as many witnesses as they want. Anyway... Now, so today they've got these lawyers and they're, you know, they've got three liberal lawyers saying, yes, a crime was committed, but they, they got nothing. They got nothing. You know, Donnie Deutsch is like, he is like the id of the left. He's like this lunatic. He's a lunatic. He's out of his mind. And he's living in this narrative where Trump is Hitler without ever checking the fact that nobody arrests him for saying Trump is Hitler because Trump isn't Hitler. If Trump were Hitler, he'd be carried off for saying that Trump is Hitler. Donnie Deutsch put it perfectly. I think he was on that Nicole Wallace show on MSNBC. And here's what he said. And Which that tells you, tells you why we are and where we, we are. And we need that simply facts and the laws are not going to protect us right now. And the, in, the, the, the point being for the Democrats, we need to twist and meld and work. We are fighting against an enemy, the Republicans, with machine guns. And we can't bring a knife to it. And I'm not saying do anything dishonest, but we have to find a way to take what is happening there and make it so compelling to the voter, because otherwise we're going to get four more years of Donald Trump and we cannot survive. Four. Four I mean, years. you know, if you go, if you run your threat, thank you. Before thank you. There's a lot of people more concerned about being precisely, <laughs> factually and semantically correct than about being morally right. But being factually correct is important. It's <laughs> yeah, it is important. The facts and the law won't save us here, says Donnie Deutsch. If the facts and the law won't save you, it must be because the facts and the law aren't on your side. But you heard Nicole Wallace at the end of that clip. She says, well, he won't just be here for another four years. It'll be 14 years if we stick to your scenario. In other words, Trump is going to barricade himself in the White House. You know what? I've, I've talked about this story before. A famous uh, mythographer, Leo Frobenius, a, a German writer on myth, uh, tells a story in which uh, a professor is writing at his desk and his little daughter is bothering him. So he gives her uh, three burnt matches to play with and says, go play. And she starts to play that the three matches are hands and Gretel and the witch. And after a while, she starts screaming and she says, Daddy, Daddy, take the witch away, giving him the match because she's gotten herself so involved in the story uh, that she's become emotionally connected to it. That is what has happened to Donnie Deutsch and the left and Adam Schiff and all of these people. They become connected to this emotional narrative they tell about Donald Trump being evil. And they keep using these words. Trump has violated this and he's done this and he's destroyed the Constitution. But ask them what has he done? What crime has he committed? How has he destroyed the Constitution? They got no answer. They got nothing. Everything is tickety-boo, including the massive growth of the Daily Wire YouTube channel. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and catch all our future videos right here on YouTube.